This is a Master's of Health Sciences in Medical Genomics, fundamentally based in doing coursework, project work, and engaging with practical skills that will help students as they advance into their professional careers. Currently, there's a real dearth of trained professionals capable of interpreting genomics data and conveying this in layman's terms to either patients or to the public. The MHSC in Medical Genomics program will provide medical trainees, research scientists, and laboratory professionals with the theory and practical knowledge that's required to really incorporate genomics data into medical practice. Our faculty, fellows, and students are highly acclaimed for pioneering seminal advances in some of the most exciting areas of modern medicine and clinical practice. We have over 100 faculty members, including luminaries, who are at the forefront of diverse fields that have a profound impact on human health. We have unparalleled expertise in genetics, genomics, and molecular medicine. The MHSC in Medical Genomics consists of a core set of lectures, also of discussion and project-based courses over a two-year curriculum. One of the things that makes this program unique is our really engaged curriculum. Advanced Human Genetics is a full year-long class that has a couple of really important foci. So first, this is the major foundational genetics class that our students take in the program that really builds the contextual framework for much of the rest of the coursework. So, Within this course, we're striving to bring each new cohort with all of their very divergent educational backgrounds up to a common and level playing field with respect to an overarching understanding of human genetics and the rhetoric and jargon in the field of medical genetics. Secondly, we tackle this course from the perspective of considering how our underlying genetics contribute to human health and disease, covering the major aspects of Mendelian inheritance and single gene disorders, complex and polygenic disorders, epigenetics, pharmacogenomics and personalized medicine, and then finally cancer genetics and cancer genomics. So students spend time in class working through complex clinical case studies and they also have an opportunity to engage in this class with world leaders in research and clinical work in each of these fields. Biostat serves as an introduction for students on how to work with big data and sets the stage for future courses in genomic data analysis. The course starts with a three-week intensive introduction to bioinformatics and specifically focuses on R programming. Students will continue to use R throughout the course as they learn more about the statistical tests uh, that are necessary to analyze genomic data, as well as the, the best ways to visualize genomic data results. Genomic Methodologies is a two-semester intensive course which focuses both on the fundamental lab techniques that are necessary for generating genetic and genomic data uh, in both clinical and research lab settings. And importantly, the course introduces students to the best practices for analyzing next-generation sequencing results. The course is broken up into multiple modules throughout the two semesters, which focus on DNA, RNA, proteins and proteomics, epigenetics and variant analysis. Uh, of note, there's no wet lab component of this course. However, we have been awarded a grant from the University of Toronto to integrate and evaluate Labster, which is a virtual online simulator, uh, to simulate some of the fundamental and advanced lab techniques that we'll be talking about in the class. Genomic methods will focus not only on the lab techniques, but also best practices for processing and analyzing next-generation sequencing data. This course will also introduce students to the techniques and databases used in performing variant analysis, taught in collaboration with many guest speakers, among them genetic counselors and research variant analysts. In addition, students will engage in a major course project where they are tasked with writing a research grant proposal. Ethical, legal and social implications of genetics and genomics is going to focus on thinking about how bringing genetics and genomics to the forefront of healthcare and into the clinic comes with some ethical quandaries and we have to think about how the legalities of patient privacy and uh, identifying secondary findings play into how clinicians and lab professionals engage with their professional work. Communication of genetic information is a class that will focus on writing and speaking about genetics to a wide variety of audiences. We will look into standardizing language to create clarity and specificity. 
Also, we will discuss different ways of representing probabilities and communicating risk. In general, it is my goal to support students to develop their science communication skills. As a culminating project for this course, students will organize a symposium where they will analyze the target audience, identify a topic of interest, and then create an informative format for conveying content. The course will also focus on stream-specific activities involving either report writing or talking with patients about genetics. Students will become familiar with guidelines on analyzing and reporting genomic test results for a variety of situations, analyze reports from different test providers, and develop the language skills to communicate precisely and understandably. Our Future Directions in Medical Genomics course is a continuous course, meaning students will be enrolled in Future Directions at the outset of their very first trimester here at the University of Toronto, and it doesn't end until they graduate. So it's a modular course that creates an opportunity for students to customize their learning experience a little bit if they want to. And to fulfill the requirements for this course, students need to complete four short modules, which are typically between 10 and 20 hours, and are worth 0.25 credits each over the duration of their graduate program. We currently offer four core modules within the umbrella of this course. Graduate professional development is the first, Next Generation Sequencing Data Generation and its Analysis Complement, Next Generation Sequencing Data Analysis, and a module that has its name tethered to the course name, Future Directions in Medical Genomics. The module in Graduate Professional Development is geared towards helping students navigate their own professional futures in the field of medical genomics. So it focuses on resume building and optimizing, constructing a personal narrative and the importance of things like storytelling in the job interview process, and critically on building an independent development plan to organize your movement from the academic world here at the University of Toronto towards an eventual professional role with your personal skills and values underpinning your overall trajectory. The module on Future Directions in Medical Genomics is a highly engaged, highly dynamic core module that will likely be different every time it runs. So this is where students can expect to be exposed to the bleeding edge of the field of genomic medicine, and it's where we help our students position themselves right at the vanguard of the field with the opportunity to learn about cutting-edge technologies and implementation strategies directly from the experts who are researching, developing, and using them. Two modules of Future Directions are designed to give the students hands-on experience with next-generation sequencing and will focus on the generation and analysis of genomic sequencing data. In these modules, students will first prep NGS libraries, sequence these libraries and finally analyze their NGS data using the knowledge and skills they have acquired from biostats, methods and advanced human genetics. The Capstone Practicum is the culmination of the MHSC program. Students will participate in a full-time practicum placement during the final semester of the program. The practicum is also the only place in which the clinical and laboratory tracks will diverge with the two streams engaging in stream-specific practicum placements. The Capstone Capstone practicum in modern genomics will require laboratory stream students to integrate and apply the theoretical concepts and practical skills they learned through coursework in a professional setting. During the laboratory stream practicum, students will work with a host organization for a period of 12 to 16 weeks, focusing on a project of significance to the practicum partner in the field of medical genomics. Laboratory stream students are matched with practicum placement partners based on mutual interest. The MHSC program faculty facilitate this matching process based on predetermined formalized partnership agreements, um, which have been forged with a variety of relevant field-specific partners. Placements take place in multiple locations throughout the Greater Toronto Area, including the University of Toronto and Associated Hospitals, uh, private biotechnology and pharmaceutical companies, um, as well as government organizations. Highly motivated laboratory stream students are also welcome to identify projects of particular interest to them uh, and to work with MHSC program faculty to coordinate a self-directed placement opportunity. 
Our clinical stream, uh, practicum in medical genomics, on the other hand, is highly self-directed, in which clinical stream students will seek out a placement in an area related to their specific clinical interests. The Capstone Project uh, gives our clinical students the opportunity to gain more practical, hands-on, uh, in-depth experience in working and interpreting genomic data in a, in a research or clinical setting that's specifically related to their specialty. Students completing their bachelor's and interested in careers in research or in medicine, clinical practice, or genomics technologies will all be ideally suited to this program, and this program will enable the launch of their successful careers.